And when I talk to a couple of them, they say, we're afraid you're going to shut down all the oil wells and all the uh, oil refineries anyway, so why should we invest in them? Doy! I said, we're going to need oil for at least another decade. And that's going to exceed. <laughs> and beyond that, we're going to need it. Production. What are you, fucking stupid? Some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. Well, uh, you know, I told people I have a clue a PhD in white trashology. And you saw real white trash on display. Hmm. And let me say something about Congressman Marjorie Taylor Grant. She dresses like white trash. She really needs a fashion consultant. Could I recommend George Santos? He, he could do a good job of, of dressing up where she doesn't announce her white trash them by her, her own well, clothes. Well, I'll her tell action. you, James. Excuse me. Uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? I mean, really? MGT is white trash for wearing that dress? Did you somehow miss Ayanna Presley? Is MGT white trash because she called Joe Biden a liar? Joe Biden is a liar, one of the most prolific liars in all of Washington. What's up with the racial slur white trash anyway? It seems like a pretty harsh way to describe people who are rural and poor and then attaching their skin color to it. Would it be acceptable to call the poor of any other group trash? Of course not, which is why you've never heard it done. And how absurd is this coming from a guy that looks like bald zombie Colonel Sanders and sounds like Foghorn Leghorn? Say, boy, you cover, I say, you cover about as much as a flapper skirt and a high oh, wind. And they're begging for something down here, and it just looks like he, he's not involved in this. Man, you got to get down here and take control of this, put somebody in charge of this thing, and get this thing moving. We're about to die. Now, who's responsible, I say, who's responsible for this unwarranted attack on my person? As we've seen over and over, over, it's apparently different when Democrats boo and heckle the Republican because it's only ever an issue when Republicans do it to Democrats. For example, it was a seismic moment when Republican Joe Wilson called Obama a liar. There are also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This too is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegally. Not true. But what they don't want you to remember is that Democrats booed and heckled George W. Bush multiple times during both the 2004 and 2005 State of the Unions. But don't you forget, it was totally different. Now, it was reported on mainly right-leaning sites at the time that Democrats booed Bush's call to renew the Patriot Act, but it's actually really hard to hear over the clapping. For once, the Democrats were right about something. Funny how much things have changed. Key provisions of the Patriot Act are set to expire next year. The terrorist threat. The terrorist threat will not expire on that schedule. Then in 2005, Democrats again responded to Bush with boos when he ironically warned that Social Security would be insolvent by 2042. By the year 2042, the entire system would be exhausted and bankrupt. If steps are not taken to avert that outcome, the only solutions would be dramatically higher taxes, massive new borrowing, or sudden and severe cuts in Social Security benefits or other government programs. Okay, so they booed Bush. Who cares? And the media didn't care either because they said almost nothing about it at the time. Then in 2009, Republican Joe Wilson stands up and calls Barack Obama a liar, which of course was the most racist seismic event to ever rock the world. Even though it turned out that Obama was in fact lying. Fast forward to the Trump era and <laughs> oh boy, do the Democrats escalate with protests, scoffs, boos, groans, walkouts, and the very visible show of disrespect by Nancy Pelosi. 
Oh, that was different. Who was, of course, hailed as a boss queen because, as always, it's different when Democrats do it. But now, after some much-deserved mocking laughs, after Joe Biden told a lie that he immediately had to walk back, we're told by the media that it's worse than 9-11 and a threat to democracy when their political opponents do it. Fair to say, one thing that I'm going to remember from this night is it's new House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's insistence that House Republicans behave themselves and respect the presidency, if not the president. That went unheeded. The president was heckled quite often and quite rudely. In Wisconsin today, President Biden again and again calling out the anger-fueled heckling from Republicans at the State of the Union. It was rowdy and contentious. Republicans erupting when the president accused them of wanting to cut Social Security and Medicare. There were a lot of disruptions from the crowd. Laura, we've seen Republican hecklers at States of the Union before, but this time the speech almost turned into a call and response. But she's competing against Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene tonight for attention. I mean, you think back to Joe Wilson, the congressman from South Carolina, when he yelled, you lie, you at President shocked. Obama. It was a seismic moment in yeah, American politics. Folks, turn off your TVs and stop spending money on the companies that run ads during these segments. Folks, just a heads up, from now on, I will be posting all my videos at 5 p.m. Eastern since the morning schedule isn't working as I had hoped. Thanks a lot. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment. See you all on the next one.